hello friends uh, today we are going to see a basic render setup of uh, uh, vray uh, i'll place objects and uh, lights uh, basic light setting and uh, sunlight basically and uh, what render type we should uh, take uh, how to do a render setup for interior scenes uh, some merge uh, a basic model Of material, I'll say chairs. Any chair you can take. First of all, group. I'll make it chair. I'll scale it down. I'll place one camera over here. Control C, uh, the camera will be in the scene. I'll selecting a chair and I'll isolating my chair to make uh, proper texture. Before texturing, just make sure you have a render setup by pressing F10 on the keyboard or I'll press render setup I'll go to assign renderer production I'll go to V-Ray and in V-Ray I'll just off all those things we don't want in V-Ray tab global setting I'll shut down displacement because right now I don't have displacement I'll turn off hidden lights, default lights. I want shadows and lights. I'll make adaptive DEMC and anti aliasing filter Mitchell Netravely. Color mapping to exponential. And I'll go to indirect uh, tab. I'll say on GI. I'll make on GI engine to light cache. Uh, irradiance map uh, current preset to low while test render we can make it low and while uh, finalization we can make it uh, medium I'll keep it low right now show calculation phase on light cache is I'll make 500 show calculation phase on setting I'll make render region division to 32 it will make faster calculations I'll go to group I'll open it materials you can press over here I'll click on standard V-Ray material whatever color you want to choose I'll make it to red you just have to give rain name I'll make this white <laughs> you can give any color to as per your choice and I'll make uh, this material a uh, metal metal is somewhat very nice to see and reflection will be somewhat this level <coughs> subdivision you can increase to 15 it will make nice reflections and uh, 
results while uh, rendering the steel fine and uh, we are ready to do the lighting work I'll just close this exit to isolation mode I'll go to lights I'll go to standard many people prefer V-Day Sun but uh, when I did uh, both V-Day Sun and standard ta target direct uh, the render times uh, is very less in the standard light and output is the same so I prefer to light my as a sun uh, with target direct just zoom out and drag from front or left viewport top I'll go to modify I'll choose shadows V-Ray shadows intensity should be 1 and uh, slightly you can increase this yellowish tint of course you have to increase this uh, hotspot slightly turn to 45 degrees for natural uh, look and right right now if you do the render we have not given the material to my walls so here it is and uh, this should be V-Ray I think cream color I'll go to maps bump mapping I'll add tiles this will give a nice bump effect I'll go to advance I don't want such a big uh, differentiated line in between two things let's see uh, 0.1 nice that's good slightly I want a reflection in on the flooring yes. depending on requirement we will increase uh, later on I'll just render it this is a light we don't want this part of light we don't want also I will closing this area and very nice actually I have not assigned this material to my flooring material my flooring I just came out this is my scene is open make one box I'll click on my camera go to modify and off my target and I'll go to local so my camera will go ahead like this and I'll increase my FOV nice so right now if you see this sunlight is coming this is uh, happening but we don't having enough of light so right now V light comes into the picture I'll go to V light I'll drag from this corner. Uh oh, 
this corner to this corner just make sure this is not overlapping the wall a slight like this I'll go to modify of V-Ray light I'll down to 10 multiplier again uh, a slight yellowish tint I don't want light should come into render if you uncheck this light will come into render I don't want I'll make invisible now I'll go back and go to in camera view now again I'll render this scene this is why it's very fast of because we have on calculation phase on if something so we don't want we just can escape this is what we got after doing the render uh, reflection is too much and uh, this we don't want basically this is a reflection of light and our tiling is way too large so making this correction we will start doing first we will start with light I'll go to lights I'll select light uncheck effect reflection so it will not give the reflection and of course you can add some background if you can add in uh, max or in photoshop or in after it will depend on the requirement what you are going to do uh, right now i don't want this type of reflection i'll go to my materials my flooring and i'll just little reflection i want so i can go to and region and and one more correction is remaining that is tiling maps and bump I'll make it to 3 is to 3 I'll just make sure what's if you on this you can see it is fine now you can again see the render the reflection is gone And uh, this is what we got and it's a cool nice nice start uh, we can uh, set those render settings and uh, uh, it may be useful to you in V-Ray production for interiors uh, if you want uh, to see this uh, render setting you can go back and always check those render settings and uh, that's it and if you have any doubts uh, please do check my youtube dot youtube dot com slash keyframes online you can always check and if you have any comments please two comments please ask me a question if you have any doubts about V-Ray, 3D Max or any other things and of course if you like the tutorial you can hit like button yeah, no like l i k like okay thank you friends